Barbara Parkins, a timeless figure in the entertainment industry, has left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. What sets her apart as a lasting symbol is a combination of enduring qualities that transcends eras. In exploring her distinctiveness among contemporaries, one finds that Parkins possesses a rare blend of talent, versatility, and a captivating on-screen presence that distinguished her in an era teeming with remarkable actors. Her ability to seamlessly adapt to a variety of roles, coupled with an innate authenticity, allowed Parkins to stand out in a competitive landscape. While many actors of her time excelled in specific genres or roles, Barbara Parkins demonstrated a remarkable versatility that set her apart. Whether portraying complex characters in dramatic narratives or engaging audiences with her magnetic charm and lighter fare, Parkins' range proved to be a defining feature of her career. As we reflect on the legacy of this classic Hollywood actor, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to Barbara Parkins in the comments below. Your stories contribute to the collective appreciation of an artist whose impact endures through the decades. What enduring qualities or standout moments do you associate with Barbara Parkins, making her a timeless icon in the entertainment industry? Barbara Parkins, a prominent actress known for her role in Peyton Place, co-hosted the Miss Teen International Pageant in 1966 alongside her Peyton Place co-star Ryan O'Neill. This event showcased her versatility beyond acting, as she took on the role of a pageant host. Interestingly, Parkins made notable career decisions by turning down leading roles in significant films such as Goodbye, Columbus, and They Shoot Horses, Don't They? When questioned about her choices, Parkins candidly remarked, I must have had my head in the sand. This decision sheds light on her selective approach to film projects during that period. In 1983, Patrick Litchfield, a renowned photographer, handpicked Barbara Parkins to be featured in his book, The Most Beautiful Women. This recognition by Litchfield further emphasizes Parkins' enduring appeal and status as one of the most captivating women in the entertainment industry. Barbara Parkins' journey in the entertainment world extends beyond acting, encompassing diverse experiences such as hosting beauty pageants, making distinct choices in her film career, and earning a place among the most beautiful women as acknowledged by Patrick Litchfield. These facets collectively contribute to the intriguing tapestry of Barbara Parkins' professional life. In 1998, Barbara Parkins surprised audiences by stepping into the role of Jacqueline Susan in the mini-movie Scandalous Me, The Jacqueline Susan Story. This marked a notable departure from her previous works, especially her renowned role in Paid in Place. The film delved into the life of Susan, the author behind Valley of the Dolls, showcasing Parkins' versatility in portraying diverse characters. Notably, Parkins, herself an adopted child, navigated the complexities of Hollywood, making distinct career choices. She turned down the opportunity to reprise the role of Betty in the 1977 television film, Murder in Peyton Place. However, in 1985, she agreed to revisit the character in Peyton Place, The Next Generation. These career decisions shed light on Parkin's selective approach, emphasizing her willingness to embrace challenging roles while also making strategic choices to define her trajectory in the entertainment industry. Beyond acting, Parkin's journey encompasses diverse experiences that contribute to the intriguing tapestry of her professional life, showcasing resilience and adaptability in the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood. Barbara Parkins' career, marked by surprising turns and thoughtful decisions, remains a testament to her enduring appeal and status as a versatile talent in the entertainment industry. Chosen by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history 1995, Barbara Parkins left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Beyond her renowned role in Peyton Place, she navigated a diverse career landscape making notable choices that shaped her trajectory. Parkins, named Hollywood's Deb Star of the Year in 1965, showcased early recognition for her talent. This acknowledgement set the stage for a career filled with surprising turns. In 1983, Parkins was in the spotlight again, considered for the title role in the James Bond film Octopussy, a role eventually taken by Maude Adams. This moment in her career highlighted the industry's recognition of her allure and versatility. The Empire Magazine recognition further solidified her status, placing her among the sexiest stars in film history. 
Beyond her undeniable appeal, Parkin's journey in Hollywood was marked by resilience and adaptability. Her diverse experiences, from turning down significant roles to embracing challenging characters, showcased a deliberate and selective approach. Parkin's ability to navigate the complexities of the entertainment industry, combined with her recognition as a Deb star and a sex symbol, paints a compelling picture of a versatile talent. In the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood, Barbara Parkin stands as a testament to the nuanced choices that define a career. From being named a Deb star in the 60 seconds to earning a spot among the sexiest stars in the 90 seconds, her journey is a fascinating exploration of talent, recognition, and strategic decision-making. Barbara Parkins, a versatile actress known for her dynamic career, has left a lasting mark on Hollywood. Beyond her iconic roles, Parkins' personal life offers intriguing insights. One notable aspect is her choice of perfume, Lura Blue by Guerlain revealing a distinctive taste and fragrance that adds a unique layer to her persona. In addition to her on-screen presence, Parkins graced the pages of Playboy in 1967 and 1976, showcasing a different facet of her public image. These pictorial spreads not only emphasized her beauty, but also reflected the changing dynamics of the entertainment industry during those years. Adding a personal touch to her narrative, Parkins experienced motherhood, welcoming her daughter, Christina, in 1986 from a marriage in the late 70 seconds. This aspect of her life adds a human dimension to the actress, portraying her in a role beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Barbara Parkin's journey, marked by her choice in fragrance, appearances in Playboy, and the joys of motherhood, highlights the multifaceted nature of her life beyond the spotlight. It's a testament to the complexity and depth that defines this acclaimed actress, showcasing the layers that make her a compelling figure in the entertainment industry. Signed to star in the 1980 miniseries Scruples, Barbara Parkins withdrew before filming commenced. This decision, while not widely known, marked a significant turn in her career trajectory. Parkins, recognized in 1965 with the Photoplay Gold Medal Award for Best Newcomer, had already established herself as a promising talent in Hollywood. However, her choice to step away from scruples hinted at a nuanced approach to project selection. Delving deeper into her career decisions sheds light on the actress' distinctive choices and the factors influencing her professional journey. Furthermore, during a candid 1996 interview at a gala viewing of Valley of the Dolls, Parkins shared intriguing insights about her co-stars, offering a glimpse into the dynamics of working in the industry. Her unfiltered remarks about Susan Hayward, Patty Duke, and Sharon Tate add a layer of authenticity to her perspective, showcasing a frankness not commonly seen in Hollywood. Barbara Parkins' career, marked by both accolades and strategic decisions, underscores the complexity of navigating the entertainment industry. From award recognition to selective project choices, her story is a testament to the multifaceted nature of a Hollywood career. This brief exploration provides a snapshot into the lesser-known aspects of Parkins' professional journey, offering a fresh perspective on her contributions to the world of film and television. As the curtains draw to a close, we find ourselves basking in the timeless glow of Barbara Parkin's illustrious career. Her performances, like a tapestry woven with threads of emotion, have left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. Perhaps, as you reflect upon the cinematic chapters she has graced, you discover an intimate connection that transcends the screen. In the quiet echoes of her scenes, did you find a reflection of your own aspirations? Did the resonance of her characters awaken dormant echoes within the corridors of your memories? Barbara Parkins, a maestro of thespian finesse, has a unique knack for making her roles not just characters, but conduits for the audience's introspection. This isn't just a goodbye, it's an invitation to share the whispers of admiration, or the thunderous applause echoing in your mind. What scenes linger in the recesses of your thoughts, like treasured secrets waiting to be unveiled? Your voice, dear reader, is a brushstroke in the canvas of appreciation, a testament to the enduring impact of an artist. Let the floodgates of reminiscence open and share your reflections on the silver screen magic spun by Barbara Parkins. 
Your words are the encore, the standing ovation to a career that has resonated across time and space. As we bid adieu, let's acknowledge the enchantment she has woven into the fabric of our cinematic experiences. Your time and musings are cherished like the final notes of a beautiful symphony. Thank you for sharing this reflective moment, a celebration of a luminary who graced our screens with unparalleled grace and talent. Appreciatively, 